I have a part and I've created all the tool paths required to machine it and I'm happy with them here. So what I want to do now is I want to machine multiple parts. And for this example I'll say I want to machine six parts. Now these six parts are held on a fixture and the fixture has enough clearance built into it so that the tools will never interfere. If I'm not certain of that then I would need to load the actual CAD model of the fixture up here and see it in the verify simulator that the tool doesn't clip it. So to create multiple work offsets or multiple parts from the drop down menu I'm going to select tool pass transform. In the type of methods the type is going to be a translate I'm going to translate the coordinates. I'm going to do one operation at a time because when I do that the first tool will machine each part successively then the machine will switch tools and the second tool will machine each part rather than have each tool machine the first part and then each tool machine the second and etc. So I've only selected my first operation which uses my first tool. I'm going to enable copy source operations and disable posting in the source which means this one here will get a picture of the ghost in a minute and that tells Mastercam don't send the g-code for it otherwise the part will be machined twice the transform operation here will also machine this part. So now I want each part to have its own unique work offset so I can find them at the machine. So I'm going to tell it to start at 1 and increment by 1. So what does this mean? Well, it means if I'm working on a Fanuc based machine the first work offset will be G G54, the second G55, the third G56, etc. If I'm on a Kuma, the first one will be G15H01, second one G15H02, and etc. So this is what's critical to assign a new work offset for each part. The fixture has the clearance required for the machining. So next I'm going to select Translate. I'll need to tell it how many parts there are. So I'll say there are three in the X and two in the Y. This is all I really need to do, but I will tell it the distance between. The distance between that I'm entering is strictly for visualization in Mastercam because each part has its own unique work offset. This is just to make a nice picture and keep me happy when I look at it or the customer happy when I see the tool pass here. In reality, each part has their own work offset, which will be found designed in the fixture holding the parts with appropriate clearance. If we're worried about that, we're going to load up the CAD model and verify the tool doesn't hit our fixture. So I've set up the instances. This for visualization, I'm just going to do a rectangular coordinate system and I'll say OK. You'll notice this guy has the ghost on it. This is what will actually be posted out. So I'll fit the screen. We can see this tool path is copied to six locations. If I want to copy the geometry, I'll go back into parameters, I can tell it to copy the geometry, but that's just going to require more memory from my system and I'm not going to bother with that. I want to now post out the code just for this. So I'm going to select post the code. I'll accept this. It's warning me not all operations are selected. That's okay. I don't want to select them all. I'll save this. It already exists. Can I overwrite it? Sure, because this isn't my final code. So here in our code we can see the first part is G54, we scroll down there will be a comment, next part is G55 and etc. G56, G57 and this will continue through to G59. So I have six unique work offsets. So I'm going to close my code and I'm going to repeat that step for each of my ten operations. So I'll go back to tool pass, transform, this time choose the second one. Again, don't change anything here. Don't change anything here. So this again will give the first part G54, the second part 55, and etc. I'll accept that. This one's now ghosted. These two can be posted out. And I'm going to continue this process for all my tool paths. This will force the machine to bring the first tool in the spindle, machine all six parts, change tools, take the second tool in the spindle, machine all six parts, and etc. So I'm happy, I'll save my work.